uh, I just couldn't help myself. I had to start taking it to bits. Um, the idea was to get it running, of course. So uh, normally I wouldn't have taken the cylinder head off just to get a fire out of it. But um, yesterday, you remember me saying when I spun it over, I didn't hear the impulse click. Uh, I didn't think any of it, anything of it at the time. I uh, just thought that it's sticking. The pair A1 was sticking as well. So I thought, well, this is probably just sticking as well. Shouldn't be anything wrong with it. Uh, but then I uh, took the mag cover off and uh, the magneto wasn't turning at all so I thought I thought the uh, mag drive might be missing uh, or something because the cam and governor weights here were completely loose uh, basically it slid off and wasn't meshing with the gear on the crank at all so that wasn't turning the valve so compression couldn't have been checked uh, and like I said the mag wasn't turning at all and uh, the suspect here is a broken governor arm the other part of it is in a pot at the moment it needs to be degreased and then I need to see if I can get it uh, brazed back on there uh, so the um, that actually holds the cam in place as well stops it from sliding out um, so it had slid out because it broke uh, I couldn't feel any compression when I was turning it over the cylinder head wasn't tight at all uh, but internally the bore looks very reasonable there is a mighty tight spot at the moment and these two hands to spin it over without the flywheel on So yeah, there's the bore. She looks pretty good actually. Uh, can't see any play at all in the piston, but it does need a really good clean. It really is uh, fouled up. Lots of muck and all oh, stuff in there. I haven't actually looked at the underside of the cylinder head yet. The head gasket appears to have come off in one piece. Might be able to reuse that for a simple test to see if it will fire, if I can get it off now without breaking it. Hmm. Well, I might be able to reuse that just to see if it will fire when I get the uh, governor sorted out. Now that doesn't look too bad. Not too much carbon in there. Just a few bits of rust handed here as well. It's a bit corroded, so I would say the head gasket has been leaking. So uh, I'll just spray a lot of oil in there, clean the top of the piston off, clean the bore. Hopefully then it would start to turn over a bit more freely. Uh, that's the little bit of play that's in the uh, crank. Shouldn't be too bad. Should be able to get away with that. Or if I do take it apart even more, I could possibly look at uh, getting some new big end shells for it maybe but this is the tight spot oh, that really is bad I don't know if it's recently had rims looks to be quite freshly honed hmm either that or not a great deal of hard work in its life but I don't know could have had replacement rings at some point. If it has, that would be nice. Well, there's even more bits off the WD2 now being a uh, have a look at the internals through the crankcase door and uh, I don't know, it's not too bad you can see there is a little bit of movement in the uh, big end but it shouldn't be too bad the water jacket's actually in pretty good nick a few rust flakes in the bottom hoover those out in a minute 
then we give it a little bit of a brush in there and uh, that should be the uh, end of that it isn't too bad at all pretty pleased with that uh, I've got the valves out really easy to get out just a pin through the bottom just put my valve lifter in there spring compressor they were out in about a minute if that so uh, they need to be lapped in you can see it's a bad bit. Okay, so I've got the lapping compound. And uh, good thing about these old engines, they have uh, the screwdriver slot instead of the suction cup, which is a much better idea. Don't know why they ever put the suction cup on them. Because they just don't work properly. Let's see if this big old screwdriver will fit the slot in there. Yep, that should do it. Looking better already. Might actually have some compression after this. Okay, both valves are now lapped in and repositioned. Collets are in. Uh, they move up and down freely. They're timed correctly and uh, should have compression now. Uh, I might try just later on just putting the head on just slightly loose just to see if there's any compression at all. Uh, just with the head loose. But I'm pretty happy now that that part of the job is done. I uh, shouldn't have to go back to those. I will check the clearances on them uh, before I try and run it. Uh, the only thing that I've got to actually get out now before I can start to either strip the engine for painting or to put the engine back together to see if it'll run is the governor. Still haven't got it out at the moment. Uh, just waiting to see if anybody on the forum can give me a bit of guidance with how that comes out. But yeah, that's where we're at at the moment.